Have you ever felt like your reaction time is too slow? I'm G5 Cosmos for Game 5 Smash, and I'm going to show you why your reaction time might not be why you're reacting slowly. Now, as you probably know, different people have different reaction times. Younger people, and or people who are more physically active, may have better reaction times than others. But if you think your reaction time is slow when playing Smash, or even if you think it's fast, there's a much bigger factor that you might be missing. See, reacting is actually a two-part process. You first need to see something occur that triggers a reaction, and you then need to determine which action you're going to respond with. I like to use the button example to explain this. Let's say you have a blue button in front of you. You also have a blue light. You have to press the blue button as soon as you see the blue light turn on. This represents your pure reaction time. Now let's say you have the same blue button and blue light, but now you also have a red button and a red light. Now you have to press the corresponding button when the light of the same color turns on. Don't you think that would be a bit harder than just pressing one button in response to one light? This is because in the second example, you have to first react to the moment a light turns on, and then figure out which is the correct button to choose. This extra decision layer adds more time in comparison to just your pure reaction time. So what does this all have to do with Smash? Well, anytime you react to something in Smash, you also have a decision to make along with the reaction, so you can look at Smash as if there are hundreds of buttons and lights in front of you every time you try to react to something. What this means is that if you don't have tons of experience dealing with the situation before you, it will take you longer to react because you'll also have to make a decision of what response to choose. With loads of experience in a situation, the decision of how to respond becomes the subconscious thought equivalent of muscle memory, and choosing from hundreds of options becomes nearly as simple as pressing one blue button in reaction to one blue light. For example, if you see a Mario Fireball headed towards you, you can easily react and shield it without having to think of what option to choose, because you've probably already shielded hundreds of projectiles before. This is why you'll notice that top Smash players all seem to have amazing reaction times. While many of them may indeed actually have fast reflexes, the main reason they can react so quickly in Smash is because they put countless hours into the game and have experienced every type of situation dozens of times, so they rarely have to add much of any decision time on top of their pure reaction time. So if you think your reaction time is slow, you probably just haven't played enough to be super familiar with every situation as it unfolds. Even for people with slower reflexes, tons of practice and experience will allow you to react much faster in-game than someone with fast reflexes and little play experience. So don't count yourself out if you feel slow to react sometimes. With more practice, you'll find yourself easily reacting to everything. If you'd like to step up your game further with personalized tips and coaching, you can message me on Twitter for one of my available coaching options, or click the Join button below to get monthly set reviews as a channel member. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to Game 5 Smash to keep up with more videos like this.